Hello and welcome to the Pin Man. Today we're going to be taking a look at what I consider to be an iconic fountain pen, the Pilot Metropolitan, also known as the Pilot MR in the European market and the Pilot Cocoon in the Asian market. Now, how how far those markets, what their boundaries are, I, I'm not really sure, but uh, that's what I found out. But I think in, internationally, it is known as the Metropolitan or Metro for short. All right, this is a great starter pen. So let's uh, quit delaying, let's get to the review. All right, we're sitting on the porch on a nice, a rainy afternoon so here we have the pilot uh, metropolitan the case for it anyway and it just uh, at least the way it came to me was in this uh, uh, cardboard box and on the back has the information there this is going to be the crocodile so a metropolitan animal and they have all kinds of different styles open it up And you have your use and care, warranty, all that. Uh, it shows some other types of uh, styles that they have there and how to use it, etc., etc. Pilot MR. That's the uh, European. Okay, so here we have the case with the pin in it. I just uh, lightly put it in there so it'll come out easier. But it comes in, it's got this hard uh, foam there to hold it securely. And then inside you have a cartridge supplied. But it also comes, I think, it, I think this one came with the, uh, the uh, converter as well. Okay, so there it's uh, obviously wider in the middle where you have a little crocodile uh, looking pattern there and it tapers down to uh, the, on the body finial as well as the cap finial. The finials are just a basic round on both ends there. And then you have a clip. Again, nothing, nothing uh, fancy on the side of the clip there. It just says Japan. And then it's a Nice firm clip, very utilitarian. On the back side of the cap, it says Pilot Japan. Okay. Open it up, and you have the uh, you have the nib, obviously, and the grip section there. The uh, step down is pretty big get up in there a little closer it's it's big but it's not real noticeable it's very it's kind of a smooth type of step down there so not bad at all and then of course this uh, the grip tapers off right at the end so hopefully your fingers don't slip down onto to the nib the uh, okay there's nib and on it, it's just Pilot and Medium and Japan with a little bit of scroll work around the, the sides there, or the top. And you turn it over and it's kind of a funky little uh, feed, but it works. Open it up. And you have the converter. It's just a squeeze converter and on that it also says pilot made in Japan. Okay, it, uh, now some some people kind of don't like to call this converter. They say it's a pin flusher or whatever. You can use it as both actually. You go to clean your pin, you're going to clean out your um, your converter as well, but it's just a rubber sack and you have these two, it's got metal on both sides and it just squeezes, very easy to use. I usually just do get it, get it in the ink bottle and do uh, two squeezes 
and I, I feel like I probably got a, a full uh, fill on that converter. So I've never had a problem with them. This is uh, all plastic on, on here is plastic grip, plastic section in there, uh, but it is metal on the inside. You have metal, you have metal, th get back over here. You have metal threads in there, but uh, nothing too, I, I don't feel like they're, they're big enough threads. I, I don't feel like they're going to wear out the plastic uh, threads at all. Okay, as far as weight, it is uh, 27 grams total weight and 18 grams with just the body. It does post and it posts securely. I don't feel that it's, it is back weighted just a tad, but um, not, not bad at all. The little step down from the cap where the cap comes there. It's kind of against the knuckle, but it's not too annoying. Uh, but if you don't, if you prefer to write with it uncapped, it works very well. It's uh, plenty long enough. Alrighty, why don't we go ahead and uh, do some size comparisons here. These are some competitors, what I would consider competitors to the Pilot Metro. You have the Lamy Safari, the Twisby Eco, and the Diplomat Esteem. And here they are uncapped and posted. All right, how about a writing sample? All righty, we have the Pilots. Metropolitan. And it is in a medium. Also, MR or Kuhn. All right. Diamine. Majestic purple. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, good flow. A little skip there. I don't know if that was just me. Perhaps. It's a, it's a, the nib has a little bit of um, feedback. It's not too bad. So if you prefer a pin with some feedback, then um, this would be good. But I, I tend to like buttery smooth, and uh, this this doesn't bother me at all. Now let's see, line variation. You can eke out a little bit there, but I wouldn't push it. Reverse writing. Scratchy, very scratchy. Well, let's see. All right, how about, um, okay, good flow. I mean, you know, not too dry, not too wet. Although I prefer wet. On the wet side, let's see. All right, I think that pretty much covers it. It is a good writer. Um, I, I like it, and... Uh, one of these days when I get my pilot pen line up to uh, all inked up, uh, I'll look forward to using these. Of course, if I use them right after an A23, eh, probably won't be as bad, be as good. But anyway, obviously not. Um, yeah, overall, I like this pen. You don't have to apply a whole lot of pressure. The ink flow is really good. 
even light. Okay. Well, there you have it. The writing sample for the pilot Metropolitan. All right, there's the review for the Pilot Metropolitan Fountain Pen, and uh, I really, I really like this pen. I mean, it's not a pen that necessarily gets me all excited, at it, and I'm always looking forward to the next time I use it, and so forth. But when I do use it, I'm kind of wonder why I haven't used it in a while, maybe. So this is a, a great pen. Uh, it retails for around $25. I think when I bought mine, I got them for $18, but that's been a couple of years. Uh, the Metro has been around for since uh, 2012, I believe. So it hasn't been around a long time, but uh, it's definitely made its place on the fountain uh, pen scene. So what are some of the likes and dislikes about this pen? And let me just say at the end of my likes and dislikes, we're going to talk about the iconic aspect of this pen. Uh, as far as pros, I think cost obviously is a uh, factor there. You get a, a good quality. It's a metal pen. It's not too heavy, uh, not too light. Uh, and again, for, for small pens, uh, I prefer uh, some weight to them. Uh, so I think this is a good uh, weight to size ratio. Uh, but again, the cost, very reasonable. Uh, you can get these as low as, I think I saw some for just under $18 uh, to just under $26. So just shop around, make sure you're getting from a, uh, a trusted uh, seller. Then the... Uh, and again, I, you know, as far as a pro, uh, the, you know, it's just a good starter pen. If you want to introduce somebody to uh, fount the fountain pen world, uh, Pilot Metro is a good uh, place to start. Also, one of the advantages of this pen is the variety of styles it comes in as far as colors, body colors, but also band designs. So there's kind of something for everyone. And I think Pilot is trying to come up with new colors, new designs all the time. So uh, the, the designs that I, that I put up in this video um, have been around for a while, but there's newer designs uh, since that time. And uh, so there's my pros as far as cons. The... Uh, I think the grip section being 8.4, about 8.4 millimeters, and that would be right in the uh, middle part of the grip, uh, it would be a little bit small for, you know, some people that like that bigger girth. I prefer a bigger girth, so I'm not real crazy about it, but I don't know. For me, once I get a pin in my hand, especially, again, it's it uh, has some weight to it. I don't really mind uh, a uh, thinner grip. And now, with this being plastic and not metal, uh, it's not slippery at all either. So, but that can be a, a downside for some people. It's just a thinner grip. Also, the nib tends to uh, have a little more feedback than what I prefer. But again, as I mentioned earlier, if you like a pen with feedback, it's not scratchy unless you do reverse writing. Uh, but if you like a little bit of feedback, uh, this nib would be excellent for you. Uh, ink flow, again, we, there was a couple of times where I had some hard starts. Now, as I'm writing and I stop for a second and start writing again, I don't have a problem with the hard starts. But if I hold it out just a little bit, uh, boy, didn't want to flow immediately. So, and again, that could be the ink. Um, usually, dye mines are, are pretty good. They're pretty wet. Uh, so, but the purple, eh, maybe a little on the drier side for, for inks. Uh, but 
be that as it may, in the sample, there were those hard starts. So um, there's, there's that. Okay, I mentioned earlier about this pen, I think, being an iconic fountain pen. What do I mean by iconic? The, um, the definitions for iconic vary. Uh, what it means to me is um, not necessarily what it means in every context. So, in other words, you can have an image of something, like a statue, and that can be an icon. So it can be iconic of, and then you name a, a period of time or a philosophy or whatever the, the case may be. So there can be that. But what I, what I found, I found this def, definition, so I, I like this. It says something important or impressive because it seems to be a symbol of something. <laughs> that's kind of, that's, that's pretty generic, but... Um, or symbolic, uh, emblematic, or represent, uh, representative, representation. And with that definition, I think that fits the Metro. Because fountain pens should not be expensive uh, to be enjoyed. And I think you can enjoy an inexpensive fountain pen. It's a well-made pen. It's, it comes from a... Uh, well-respected pen maker and even though it's only been around since 2012 it has uh, become a very popular pen there's there's other pens right along this line that that could be called iconic i think another word when i think of iconic is enduring how long will this pen endure uh, styles come and go uh, some are very limited and they don't really catch on very well. Uh, and then you don't see them. Uh, manufacturers stop, even stop making them. Uh, but I don't see that that's going to happen with the Pilot Metro. And I may be eating my words 10 years down the road. I don't know. But I, I think this pen is going to be around for a while. The Lamy 2000 was, is considered an iconic pen too. It hasn't changed its style. The Metro really, except for the colors, so forth, it, it's a very basic, like the Lamy 2000, it's a very basic style, the shape and everything. Again, it's nothing like that you look at and say, whoa, I gotta have this. Uh, but um, it still has some class, it's still very, utilitarian and and I, I don't know I think this pen is going to be around uh, for a long time I think people will be getting their start in the fountain pen journey uh, for a long time with this pen I would be curious as to how you would define an iconic fountain pen and what would be, just name one, what would be, in your opinion, an iconic fountain pen? Something that's going to be around for a long time. All right, again, thanks for tuning in to The Pin Man, and you have a great day.